plus one-fifth of a mile. Now, the textbook goes from here to start talking about verbal models and how to write a verbal model. And as they explain in the simplest um, diagram here, you start by writing a verbal model, then you assign labels. In other words, you put in variables and numbers in place of the words of the verbal model, and then you turn that into an algebraic model. So, for example, and this is obviously taken straight from the textbook, they have this story about you buying plates of food at a dim sum lunch at a Chinese restaurant. And one of the things they point out that I think is kind of nice, that, um, nice of them they don't always, is they point out that the tax is added, and it's added after. So what does that mean? Well, in terms of a verbal model, you've got the cost per plate times the number of plates, and that's going to be equal to the total cost minus the tax. The tax is added afterward. So the total cost, which was $25.20, includes tax. So if you want to figure out how much was for the food, it's the total cost minus the tax. And again, the way you figure out your, your food cost is simply, it's always the same price per plate, $2 per plate, times the number of plates. Well, I'm kind of giving it away here, because they go on from here, and they go from the verbal model, which is this thing, to assigning the labels. And I just want to show you what the textbook means when it says assigning labels. This is, in this category here, this is where they're assigning the labels before they write the algebraic model. And they're saying the cost per plate, they're, they're just going to change it to two. They really should have made it two dollars to make it clearer. And they similarly should have called it P plates, but that's okay. They're calling it two and then P and then 2520 and 120. Those four things, two, P, 2520, and 120, those are the labels they're talking about. So now, changing that to an algebraic model, um, you end up simply removing that brown box there and seeing that it's 2 times p, or in other words, 2 for cost, p for plates, is equal to 2520, in other words, the bill, minus 120, in other words, the tax. But what you really wanted, after all, was not this equation. You wanted to know what p is. You wanted to know what the number of plates was. Remember, it's right here.